Actor Tom Holland peels off his Spider-Man suit in favor of a new role, Adventurer. Uncharted topped the box office this weekend, $44 million in sales. ABC News reporter George Pinocchio spoke with a star about his newest role. Why the man? This path of Ferdinand Magellan took to sail around the world. You know your history. It's the biggest treasure that's never been found. In Uncharted, Tom Holland plays a street smart character named Nathan Drake. He gets recruited by a veteran treasure hunter, played by Mark Wahlberg, who's traveling the world trying to recover a fortune of missing gold that was lost some 500 years ago. This movie is a story of exploration. You know, it is a form of escapism. You know, the last two years, traveling has been something that, you know, many of us haven't been able to do or aren't allowed to do. Uh, so come and do it with us. Uncharted is filled with action, but a different kind than Tom was used to with his Marvel character. We had green screens, but there's just no suit. You know, there's no mask that I can hide behind. One of the luxuries of the, of the Spider-Man mask is when something's uncomfortable and you pull an uncomfortable face, no one can see it. But in this film, Nathan Drake is supposed to be so heroic at all times that when doing something uncomfortable, I had to try and keep the sort of smolder going. Holland also spends a lot of time in the water in Uncharted. It's something he says he's gotten used to since his big break in the 2012 film The Impossible. It's interesting. It's almost like every, it's almost like Hollywood is trying to drown me. But, you know, I actually really enjoy shooting in tanks, you know. It's like it's like going to a water park uh, for a day. Uh, and in Uncharted, swimming through those caves was uh, was really fun. Holland says his confident, uncharted character is the complete opposite of who he usually plays. But as a PlayStation fan himself, he felt a strong obligation to be true to his video game alter ego. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a level of pressure, um, but we use that pressure to kind of give us the uh, drive to make this movie as special as we could. We have showed the film to some really, really hardcore fans who have all, you know, raved about the film, so I, I feel like we've, we've done what we set out to achieve. In Los Angeles, George Pinocchio, ABC 7 News.